A cherished sovereign and much-loved mother, now King Charles III sharing these words about his mother, Queen Elizabeth II. The King of the UK stating her passing is a moment of the greatest sadness for him and the royal family. After seven decades on the throne, the 96-year-old died peacefully with her loved ones by her side. Scores across the globe, including many here on Guam, are heartbroken. It's very, very sad. Um, and I'm sure you know, everybody here on Guam will join with, with uh, all the peoples of the, of the Queen the realm and Commonwealth on, on her passing. Her life was dedicated to the service of, of the crown. And she never wavered from that, you know, from the day she became queen to, to yesterday. I felt very sad because personally I met her, I talked, talked to her and uh, visited with her when she came to Guam. And I found her to be a profoundly friendly person for her, her you know, status. Former Congresswoman Madeline Bordalio recalls the Queen's trip to the island in 1975. She spoke with KUAM from Washington, D.C. She wasn't just a, a symbol, a queen to preside over certain celebrations, but she, she grew people together, and she was warmed by people of all statuses, and that's what I liked about her. Bordalio was first lady then. Images with her and the late former governor Ricardo Bordalio is captured with the queen and the late Prince Philip. The historic visit is on display at the Guam Museum. Bordalio recalls when her husband's administration got the call from Buckingham Palace. We were absolutely dumbfounded. I, I couldn't imagine the Queen of England visiting our little island. And the moment the royals got off the plane at the Guam airport. Very gracious. Very nice, big smile, and uh, Prince Philip was also right behind her, and they, they were both very kind and very friendly. She was very petite, petite in her image. Uh, she had a green and, and blue uh, dress on and a matching turban-type hat. On the way to the government house, they were greeted by a line of Guam school's children holding British and American flags, the Queen then taking in the view of the island. She was very interested, and I gave her a little history, and of course Ricky was going on and on with the prince about the history of Guam and so forth and so on, and uh, they were just very delightful. And in true Guam fashion, the Queen was also given a taste of local treats. We just had cookies and some sweets, and I, I know we had some Letizia, and uh, that's about all I can remember. Mm -hmm. uh, but it was a very nice visit. The Leon Guerrero Tenorio administration also expressing their deepest condolences, stating, We join the island of Guam and the United Kingdom in mourning the passing of Her Majesty, Queen Elizabeth II, whose service as a revered monarch carved out the modern heart and soul of her country.